Your front axle you joints this trashed. Well, in today's videos guys, we're gonna be showing you how to replace front axle U joints on a 99 Dodge Ram 1500. This also goes for 94 to 2001 Dodge Ram 1500. Uh, Betsy is our plow truck and she loves to go through front end components. So we're gonna show you how to remove the axle shaft, replace the U joint and put it all back together. I'm also gonna be replacing ball joints in the meantime too, since they're already worn out, but we have a very exclusive video just four ball joints, so if you want to check that video out, that's right here. But in today's video, we're going to be mainly focusing on these front U-joint replacements. So the first thing we're going to do is get this caliper out the way. We got two 10 millimeter Allen bolts that hold the caliper onto the, that hold the caliper onto the knuckle itself. So after we get those loose, we can grab a big screwdriver and just loosen her up a little bit. So she's nice and easy to go back on. When we do put it together, Tip our caliper off, and we're gonna set it right on our control arm. Got a nice little spot right there for it. Our rotor should come off. If your rotor don't come off, you're gonna have to probably bang it off. Then we got a cotter pin to get out of the way, and then we can get our actual axle nut off. Best tool for the job, of course, is a nice needle nose pliers. Well, that cotter pin didn't like to play nicely, but we got her out. Now we're gonna get our axle nut off. Axle nut size is a 1 and 16th. Just like that. Then we'll have a nice little washer behind there that we can get out later. On the back of the knuckle, we have three 9 16 or 14 mil 12 point sockets that we gotta remove to get the hub off. So now that we got, we got all three of our wheel hub bolts off, we're gonna thread one in and we're gonna use a nifty tool to get this hub out that attaches to our air hammer. So we're gonna start this guy with a few threads, get them in there, and then we got this right here, which is actually designed to go right over the head of this. I'll put the link in the description below for your air hammer to go right there. And just like that, pops the hub right out. Super quick, super easy. That tool kicks butt. Um, if you can't get the hub out the other way, you can take a socket and an extension, start the truck, have someone steer the truck and wedge it against the axle tube right there. Turn the wheel and it'll physically push the hub out and you can use the power of power steering to get the hub out instead of using the air hammer. We actually had to do that on Whitey who's right there because he was so rusty crusty. I've had Betsy's front end apart about a million and a half times. So everything's been anti-seized and comes apart pretty simple. Uh, check your hubs out, make sure they're okay. These are all brand new, so they should be golden. Then we can straighten the wheel back out and then pull our axle shaft straight out. And then you can hear our just absolutely destroyed U-joint. So now we're gonna get this over on the workbench and show you how to get this out and replace. So we got the U-joint on the bench, some tools we're gonna need, uh, air hammer and a flat chisel works really nice, otherwise you can use a hammer and a screwdriver, uh, but I like using my air hammer, uh, BFG, or sorry, a BFH, the new U-joint itself, and we first have to get the C-clips off the back side of it, and then we'll take it over to the vise, right there, and start hammering all our old U-joints out but we gotta get those clips out first before we can do that. So that's why I like to use the air hammer. Super simple. One clip, three more to go. Ample. All right, so now it's vice time. So you're gonna open your vice up just enough so it can sneak through when you're hammering it off. So we'll get the big axle shaft off first.
Now we're ready to put the new one in. New C-clips, actual U-joint itself. Little baby U-joint, take all the caps off. Make sure there's adequate grease in all the caps so the needle bearings don't fall out. And then we'll probably start with this guy. Just shove her through, put her cap on. And then with our hammer, we're gonna tap the cap down. Gonna go a little too far. Just like that. And we're gonna take one of our new clips. This out, and you can see where the clip groove is. Right there. Get this guy snapped into place. Then flip it to our other side, make sure we don't got a bunch of dude. Uh, dirt and stuff in this grease, which we don't. Put that in. Sometimes when they're pretty loose in the hole, you can use the vise to hold them squeezed together. Same process on this side, get the U-joint started, get a cap in. And we're a little too far. Get it. Get C clip started. Flip it around. Other U joint. Get our other U joint cap in. That all the way tap down. See the little crevice right there? And we're just gonna get a C clip snapped in there. Now that we got all our U joint clips in to make sure they're seated, we can just make sure. Good. All right, so now we can go get this installed in the truck, but we gotta go get those ball joints out first, so we'll be back in a sec. So as you guys can see, uh, we got no ball joints in the truck, and that is because the auto parts store is out of our ball joints. Uh, we needed to get those warranted out, and we couldn't because they didn't have it. So we're gonna call this a video. Uh, if you guys got any questions about U-joint replacement, please comment down below. But as always, guys, keep it boosted, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.